In this video, I am going to try and provide you with what seems to be a problem that is not going away. It's just getting worse and worse. And most people that are watching uh, videos I already have made about supporting bathtubs with mortar or plaster of Paris are watching them after the problem has occurred. They're looking for a solution. And hopefully this in this video, I might be able to provide you with something you can consider using. And what I would be suggesting would be to cut some holes somewhere to where you could use self-leveling compound. And this is a product that is used to level concrete floors. And I have mixed it uh, a little wetter than um, normal. And even if you mix it following the regular manufacturer's instructions, it seems to flow into gaps and cracks. Now, the only concern I would have is that it's going to flow into the area where your drain is, or it can flow in there if it isn't blocked off somehow. So like some home repairs, you could actually be creating a problem by fixing the bathtub. It could be creating a problem down the road with the plumbing. So I don't want to provide you with a suggestion that uh, you're like, oh, wait a minute, I'm not going to do that because of that. Don't do it. Again, this is just an idea here. If you can block that off, um, great. And that might only happen by cutting a hole on the opposite side of this right here or somewhere near the drain area to where you can block it off or um, even fill it with sand. If you could somehow fill it with sand and then the self-leveling compound went over the sand, then the plumber could easily chip that stuff out. Um, but they're not going to be chipping out if that hole is filled with um, the self-leveling compound. So your job is going to be to find the easiest spot where you can cut a hole or drill a hole into any part around the perimeter of the bathtub area. And the reason why I'm providing with a few you with a few suggestions here is because you might have stucco on the one side. You don't want to um, tear into because you don't know how to fix it. You might have kitchen cabinets. You might have a fireplace or something else. And if that's the case, then you might need to drill a hole through the bathtub or cut some type of a notch on the bottom. And then, of course, you could cover it up if it's on the bottom. But if it's just a, a hole here, you might need something to cover it with. Now, I have seen, if you have a white bathtub, I've seen white covers made out of plastic and rubber that you could somehow attach here. Um, and if you feel comfortable with it, then do it. Again, remember, this is just a last option alternative. You don't want to remove anything. Um, and you might not have a choice. Just if you if it's not, you do not want to look at it. It's not going to look good. You don't think the repair is going to look good. Try and put it to somewhere where it's not going to be as noticeable, or try and put it lower to where you can cover it with with some type of um, trim that is not going to uh, rot or um, you know you're not going to want to use wood on something like this. They do sell a variety of different trims in different sizes that uh, you could probably glue to the bathtub or attach somehow. And again, it's not my job to get creative here. You know, you cut a hole in the front of your bathtub, have a plan before you uh, have a plan on how you're going to fix it before you cut the hole. If you can access, cut an access hole on the any side where you can. And, uh, and these holes can be as wide as you are comfortable with. If you if you can repair drywall, cut a hole all the way across this baby, and give yourself plenty of room to fix everything. You know, and this way you can uh, block the drain off from getting filled. Um, but if you're not comfortable, then you might want to cut a smaller hole, keep it as small as you possibly can, and then figure out some way to where you can get the self-leveling compound into the area. And it might be as simple as just building something like this, you know, put it at an angle. You just pour the leveling compound and then it oozes in. 
or you might need a some type of a pipe and this could be done with inch and a half two inch or even three inch ABS or PVC you know but it's gonna have to be a little bigger you know you're not just gonna use a three-quarter inch um, you know plastic pipe that's probably not going to work now one more thing I'd like to point out is that the self-leveling compound I have made it a little wetter in the past to get it into certain areas now I've never done something like this it's just a suggestion but I have used it I wanted to see how it worked when I first uh, used it and I didn't mix it correctly and it this stuff leveled out perfectly flat and I, I tiled a floor over it what I used it for was I had a uh, bathroom with a drain in it and the the drain angled the floor angled towards the drain I popped the drain out plugged up the pipe and then leveled out the floor and then tiled over the floor and it worked out great and when I did it um, I didn't follow the instructions I just mixed it up and I noticed it was a little wetter than the next time I used the product and when it wasn't is wet it seemed like you needed to spread it out a little more so I'm just kind of throwing that out there you could actually if you started from one end and not the center you could actually get to a point where it just blocks up in here and never gets over to here so I would suggest going in the center of the tub if you can and then doing this um, putting the liquid in to where you feel like it would be enough and I can't really you know I can't tell you what would be enough but uh, you're gonna just kind of do the best you can and if you get to a spot to where it, it made this area solid here but it didn't make this area didn't fix this area here you might need to drill another hole in on this side and if worse comes to worse and you can't get it then you're gonna have to pull the bathtub at least you tried